up, you old bag. I don't have all night. Always like this. I used to be a good vampire. I stopped killing people. But things changed. Got your uh, supplies all set. Thank you so much, Mayor. <laughs> the donation center was running kind of low since it is music festival season, you know, <laughs> drugs. So um, I'm gonna have to ask you a little bit more for this round, you know, supply demand. No problem, charge it to his card. Man, I wish I had myself a wealthy ex-husband, huh? If only I were into men, <laughs> get it? Cause I like women. <laughs> Yeah, like one who turned you into a vampire, so you're literally cursed to deal with him for all of eternity. Hey, it's still better than kids. Have you ever thought about going hunting so you could pretend one of your victims is Arnold, you know, just to get the stress out? Because you know what gets out the stress for me? A couple's massage and a remote mountain retreat. Uh, are you doing anything this weekend? You know I gave up hunting forever, Mayor. God, what a waste of those perfect... Sexy little white teeth. But you know, <laughs> if you ever want to practice run, um, I'm your gal. <laughs> you get an A for effort. I could never hurt you, my friend. But I have a high pain tolerance. It'll be just a tiny bite. I have thick Scandinavian blood. Nothing hurts me, I swear. Bye, Mayor. Uh, bye. See you next week. I'll, I'll see you next week. B -b -b bye. I grant myself serenity to powerfully resist that love. To accept that vampires I cannot change, courage to change the ones I can, and wisdom to know the difference in benevolence we trust. Ave Satyas! Thank you all for coming again. Who would like to speak first? 
Um, I will, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm Rebecca, and I'm a bloodthirsty vampire. Hello, Rebecca. Hi. I have a confession to make. I, uh, I fell off the wagon like two weeks ago. I, 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 that's why I haven't been at the meetings. I, I felt so guilty, so very ashamed. Thank you for sharing, Rebecca. As we all know, occasional relapses are part of the recovery process. Tell us what happened, please. Continue sharing. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I was enjoying a misty, moonlit stroll. It was right next to the Santa Monica Pier. And it was a beautiful, nice, quiet night. But then all of a sudden, this young homeless man, he approached me and he asked me for spare change. Well, when he stood there with his hand out in the open, I mean, all I could hear was the blood pouring through his veins and was pounding in my head. And I, I noticed that there wasn't anybody else around, not, not, not that I could see. So I just gave right into temptation and I, I, I... Quite all right, Rebecca, we forgive you. What's most important is that he showed up here tonight to get back on track. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, God, it's just so hard. Did you try reaching out to your sponsor? Me, Thomas? Yeah. He had his phone disconnected. He hasn't been to any meetings in months. Do you know, I think that he has really had a complete relapse. <gasps> It sucks right now, okay? But as my ex-girlfriend Scarlett O'Hara liked to say, tomorrow's another day. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. That's very kind of you, Rick. Uh, well, Rebecca, so um, we need to find you another sponsor. I can do it. Rose, <laughs> that's very kind of you, but you're already sponsoring Toby. Melissa? Melissa, would you? Sure. Would you be Rebecca's new sponsor? Why not? I mean, it's like I have all the time in the world, right? That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Melissa. Let us all together welcome our newest member, Remington. Hi. Hi, Hi Remington. 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 Hi, um, my name is Remington. I'm a bloodthirsty vamp. To be honest, I don't really know why I'm here. I guess it was the last couple of toddlers and the lady in the wheelchair kind of got to me. And that's perfectly all right, Miss Remington. We all started with that feeling. Rose, do you not want to be my sponsor anymore? <gasps> of course I do! It's just that you and I have been clean for so long, we've adjusted to being around the living. I thought I could help someone who's really in trouble. I just can't. I just don't understand how some of us can be so cruel and vicious. I hate vampires. Oh, I hate myself. Toby, 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 it's going to be okay. You know that there will always be good vampires, and our numbers are growing every day. Oh, we've had like one new member in 67 years, and it's that Remington girl. I trust her about as far as I can throw her. Although I guess that will be pretty far. Don't forget, every single one of us counts. Think of all the lives that we have saved. Yeah, I guess they all add up. They still hate them. I really feel like the tide is turning in our community. I even heard that scientists are working on the lab-grown blood. Really? Yeah. 
I don't know what I'd do without you, Rose. You want to go have some fun? Yeah. Ski ball? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Listen, have you already fed today? Yes, why? Okay, because this might make you turn a little bit paler. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut you off. What? Is this what the eviction notice is about? Listen, I know our agreement for me turning you and basically robbing you of your human life, yada yada, was that I would financially support you for all of eternity, but I am seeing this new gal, and she is just not cool with it. Someone agreed to date you? Oh, not this one, Rose. She likes me for me. Or at least because I'm a vampire and she's a hot goth chick who is into pain because she had a troubled childhood. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, don't get too good at that now. I have learned my lesson about turning women. Well, I could suck on something else. Oh my, wow, you are too good to die. <laughs> Arnold, šta da radim? Ne mogu sama sebi da priuštim krv. Sebična, can't you be happy that I found someone? You know how difficult dating is when you've got a century on everyone. They all seem so uncultured. Arnold, what am I supposed to do? I'm a woman from the 1850s. I can't just get a job. I have no modern skills. Skills? Oh, you've got skills. Ah! Shh. No teeth. <laughs> I know that. Yes, you just do. Come in. The door is open. What's shaking, babe? Oh, Rose, you don't look like your normal chip herself. Hungry? We got some real super Arnold fresh. Arnold just told me he's cutting me off. He has a new girlfriend or pets or something. What? Crap. I bet you could really use a drink right now. Oh, um, by the way, um, your card that's on file um, was declined. Do you have another card? Of course. Oh, okay. It's always good to have that one extra card ready to go for emergencies. Go. Oh, okay. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Declined. Very declined. I <laughs> guess what it is. <laughs> declined. D to the C to the clined. You got any cash? Yes. Can you hold this? $79.13. Okay, well, um, that's enough for what you just drank. Oh dear. I guess I really never thought about that kind of thing. Um, I have a credit card that's just in my name. Let's try that. Okay. Here you go. Okay. That's approved. <laughs> oh, thank God. There you go. All right, babe. Well, you're good this round, but um, 
That really sucks about Arnold. What a knuckle-headed twat waffle. But just remember, you've got options. You could always give Mare, the bear, some good old eternal life, and as payment you'll be supplied with vein juice until the apocalypse or Vampire Hunter gets me, whichever comes first. It's gonna be the Vampire Hunter, not really what you call a runner. So, um, I gotta go. I got a couple more deliveries before sunrise. Don't forget to put that in the fridge. Come on, list Dad's list. Oh, Arnold, I can't afford this. What if I find a roommate? Okay. Oh, you sound good. Oh, she likes to shop. This is gonna work out. Okay, so rule number one of being my roommate is that we have to be best friends because I haven't had a best friend in like 200 years. Oh, and my favorite place to hunt is the mall because, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Blood and bargains, that's pretty cool. So where do you like to hunt? Oh, um, I don't do that anymore. I'm a benevolent. Well, that isn't gonna work. Come in. Well, well, well. You are delicious. So, a couple of things I didn't mention in the Lestats list ad. I host a swingers party every third Thursday of the month. I have a no-clothing policy for my roommates. Hmm. Wow, that all sounds so wonderful. I just have one more place to look at, and I'll let you know. Ciao. Stay delicious. I miss her already. I think I'm hungry. Rose! <laughs> What's up? I'm Paul. Come on in. Come on in. <sighs> Man, you know, I, I usually don't use Lestat list because even for vampires, some weirdos. But you seem pretty chill. Thank you. I'd like to think so. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> uh, so a little bit about me. I'm chill too. I like playing The Sims, my music, you know, I groove a little bit. And I like coming up with funny ideas for prank videos. I might get you. <laughs> I was also changed during the Grover Cleveland administration. <laughs> Funny, mine was Miller Fillmore. Both boring presidents, right? <laughs> right. It makes you miss the times when your leaders were forgettable, don't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, rent is $7.50 plus utilities, and it doesn't include weed or feed. Actually, I don't smoke, and my friend delivers blood for me. Nice. Hunting is so gross. Ugh. Oh, you're benevolent too? No, 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 no. I'm just lazy. Plus, there's a Del Tacos up the street. Fat dudes are slow. <laughs> cool. Are pets allowed? You know what? My last roommate had this chick. She was pretty weird, and things got a little complicated. I t pets, I just can't do them. I mean my pet bunnies. I, bunnies, yeah, sure. Whatever floats your coffin. I mean... Hey, so look, I mean, it's yours if you want it. Uh, I got this guy that's coming later. He's giving me douchey vibes and chill people and douchey vibes just don't mix together. I, t I mean, you know, you're cool. I'm cool. You can have it. Okay, I'll take it. Sweet. That was fucking easy. I mean, God, you, you, cool, man, you know, let me get you the key, right? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. No problem. You sure you don't want to? I'm good. Do you want to come in, uh... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow works good for me. Can you help me move? <sighs> yeah, I can help you move if that'll get you here quicker. I mean, I don't see why not. Well, nice to meet you, Paul. It was nice meeting you too, Rose. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> see you later, Rose. <laughs> little Rose, little Rosebug. <laughs> Oh. <gasps>
Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. All it's good. good see you there. Hi, I'm Rose, Paul's new roommate. Oh, well, it's kind of a weird hour to be moving, isn't it? Yeah, daytime's tough for me. I have a busy, very busy schedule, and I also work nights. Oh, impressive. <laughs> well, your new roommate keeps weird hours, too. <laughs> Los Angeles. What are normal hours, right? <laughs> oh, right! Yeah, because, you know, the sun shines all the time. You know, the weather's just so nice here. The sun's shining all the time. Yeah. Um, wait, let me know if you'd like to take advantage of it sometime. We could um, go to the beach or hike Runyon or something. That is so nice of you, but like I said, I work nights, and I'm very busy during the days, and I try to stay out of the sun. I burn really easily. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, this, what is it that you do? Actually, I'm in between jobs right now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck on your job hunt. Thank you. I, you know, here, let me help you with this. Oh, no! Oh! oh. Jeez! <sighs> you're really strong. <laughs> It was CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Garlic neutralizer? Oh, I'm uh, really sensitive to the smell of garlic. It's like a peanut allergy, but only deadlier. Oh. It was really great meeting you. Bernard. Bernard. I need to run along. Paul has to return the moving van before they charge me another night. <laughs> Why are women so weird to me when I'm nice to them? You, Rose? Yes. Carl? That's me. Lovely night tonight. Look a bottle of water? Phone charger? No, thank you. I'm fine. Excuse me, Carl. Yeah. Do you enjoy driving for a living? Are you able to afford all your food? I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Get to make my own schedule. I love working the night shift when traffic's so much lighter in LA. Uh, I can go to auditions during the day. I'm gonna be a famous actor one day. Carl Brooks. Remember that name? Night shifts. It's my referral code. You sign up to be a driver, both get a bonus. Oh, headshot. Wonderful. Thank you. Hello? Yes, Rose? This better be important. You are interrupting my lunch. I need a car and a driver's license. I'm starting a new career! Rose operating a killing machine on the streets of L.A. <laughs> Satan help us all. Well, good for you. I am pleased to hear you are finally becoming an independent woman. About goddamn time. Arnold, don't be rude. You know that I was always a late bloomer. Yes. Yes, I suppose that I can throw you one last bone. I have an acquaintance that works at the DMV, but you'll actually have to learn how to drive. Of course. Toby can teach me. Oh, okay, you're still hanging out with that beta vamp. Of course you are. Well, there's an extra car in my garage. You can take it. So sorry.
so sorry, whoever you were. Oh, Arnold, I have to clean up after you even after we were divorced. Yes, I'm going to need cleaning service. Hey, Rose. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Lunch date? Okay. Hi. Hi. So I see you're off the wagon. Not me. Listen, a tiger doesn't apologize for being a tiger. You should never apologize for who you are. Should I send the bill to you? Send it to Arnold. Okay. I'll see you soon, Rose. I hope not. Dylan, right? Yep. Great. Do you want to talk about sharks? 